What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title. Alrighty, so, you know, Studio Series, it's a topic that people in the community have been talking about for a while now. The last few years, since 2021, when we started getting 86 movie figures. And it's something that I've really thought about and become a little aware of even more now since we got the Devastation Optimus leaked a few days ago that I covered on the channel, is the oversaturation of G1, specifically within Studio Series, and not just Generations as a whole. We're getting another Optimus Prime figure early next year as a deluxe class, and to get away with it, they're labeling it as Devastation Game Optimus. Which is cool, you know, I don't mind getting Devastation figures, we're, we're supposed to be getting a few more next year and a couple two-packs as well, I'm pretty sure. But what annoys me about this whole thing is, how many G1 Optimuses do we need? And we're basically wasting time here on other characters that could get made within Studio Series that... um need figures more than just another deluxe G1 Optimus. You know, there's so many figures or, or characters from Age of Extinction, The Last Night, Dark of the Moon, Revenge of the Fallen, the movie video games, the movie comic books, especially some of those characters on Cybertron in the movie comics would be really cool to see in the style of how they've handled the Bumblebee Cybertron movie figures over the last couple of years. A lot of that stuff would be so amazing to see, and especially with the introduction of the concept art series, there's so many Bayverse designs from concept art that would be fantastic. And we are getting Widowmaker next year, but that's just scraping the top, you know? There's so many cool designs. There's Springer from Revenge of the Fallen. There's Depth Charge. Uh, we still need a DevCon even, you know? And he, we could have gotten him as a commander two years ago, but instead we have another G1 Optimus and another G1 Ultra Magnus, which I have gone on record saying multiple times, I love those figures, they're fantastic, I have both of them, I love them, but it's still the fact that there were a bunch of other characters from Commander Class in Studio Series that could have benefited from that size class way better than another G1 Optimus and Magnus and would have made um, more sense and would have been cooler to see in general. Characters that we've never gotten in figure form before or characters that just straight up need redos like uh, Scavenger from the Constructicons and ROTF. He could have been a commander class instead of a leader class. But my point of the video isn't to hate on these G1 redos. It's to, it's to uh, critique how they've been released. Um, I, I really do feel like, I don't know, maybe put the 86 movie stuff as its own line or... I don't know, I'm just trying to spitball ways off the dome right now on how we could um, get around all these movie characters getting delayed years and years because of the inclusion of all these G1 figures, characters, and releases the last few years. I mean, we're just now getting a Dark of the Moon Wheeljack next year. In 2025, by then, it would be over seven years since Studio Series started, and, we're, and we just now got Dark of the Moon Wheeljack when we had Dino three years ago, Sideswipe five going on six years ago, so many other cast members from five, six, seven years ago done in studio series. And it, it, it kind of just prolongs stuff that really shouldn't be prolonged anymore. Like the last time we got a Dark of the Moon Q was in 2011 and he was basically a China exclusive because of the last wave in Dark of the Moon being canceled. So this figure being about 14 years too late is kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is, you know, with the inclusion of Studio Series, Gamer Edition, which I love too, the concept art subline. It's just the nature of the things that have happened with the Studio Series line. And I do want to point out that it is, you know, just the politics of 
toy industry mumbo jumbo stuff with Hasbro. They want to prolong the line. The Studio Series is the best selling Transformers line right now. So they're trying to prolong doing these integral movie verse characters as long as they can by introducing Gamer Edition 86 concept art subline. All these different sublines within Studio Series to just flesh it out longer and keep it going. Because if we didn't get 86, we, we probably would have already gotten Dark of the Moon Q two, three years ago. Probably would have already gotten a Commander Class DevCon and Scavenger a year or two ago. So that is a reason, and that kind of is a valid reason if you're looking from Hasbro's perspective. Because they do want to make money. It is a business. They have people on their payroll. So um, it's just the nature of the game, you know, but... It still does suck that Studio Series is now just this G1 catch-all, more so than the mainline generations, which is kind of weird. Um, but, I don't know, this kind of is just my own personal little issue with it. I know for a fact I'm I'm not the only one out there that feels the exact same way about how Studio Series has been handled. And after seeing that Devastation Optimus, it really just put that thought into my head even more now than ever that Studio Series really is just being uh, clogged up with a lot of G1 figures, uh, sometimes for no reason, like Coronation Starscream, Leader Class Springer, another G1 Bumblebee. You could argue that those releases were justified, which in some ways they are, but in some ways they could have just released it as an exclusive within Legacy, or it could have just been uh, released at some other time and not put in Studio Series, where that could have gone to a movie character for that slot. So, I don't know, it's it's all kind of uh, confusing to talk about, because... You know, we want Studio Series to go on, and we do want these characters and figures, but at the cost of getting a lot of kind of more important characters delayed for however many months or years. Like, a perfect example of that is Dark of the Moon Hatchet and Q. These would have been out years ago if it wasn't for all the other G1 figures that we've gotten. But, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Just figured I'd talk a little bit about uh, just the overall g one ification of Studio Series, if you want to put it in that way. But, yeah, guys, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. How do you feel about all the G1 stuff put into Studio Series the last few years? All my social medias are linked down below, including my email. If you guys want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever, or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or irregular display shelves in your homes, you can either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye!